Thousands of protesters flooded the streets in and around Lansing today, upset about the governor's stay-at-home order extension. Specifically, they're angry about what they call the governor's overreach of power. The protesters say the governor is unnecessarily restricting businesses that could, in their opinions, still operate and practice social distancing. We'll have more on their concerns in just a moment, but first, the governor just finished a news conference about today's protest. After discussing the latest numbers, she turned her attention to the people outside and how she felt about what she saw. I was really disappointed to see people congregating, not wearing masks. I saw someone handing out candy to little kids, barehanded. You know, when people are flying the Confederate flag and untold numbers who gassed up on the way here or grabbed a bite on the way home, we know that this rally endangered people. Now back to what the protesters described as Operation Gridlock. People from across the state drove to Lansing and were urged to stay in their cars while circling the state capitol. They wanted to send a clear message to Governor Whitmer that they think her executive order goes too far. 13 On Your Side's Noah Fromson followed some of those protesters from Lowell to Lansing. Operation Gridlock shut down the streets of Lansing today with traffic backed up for blocks and people traveling from West Michigan and all over the state to protest Governor Whitmer's actions during the pandemic. Among the chorus of honks and chants down this road. from a parade of vehicles log jamming Lansing were a couple hundred people from West Michigan who met in Lowell to ride there together. A lot of people in the same, of the same mindset. People who disagree with Governor Whitmer's extension of the stay-at-home order through the end of April and continued shutdown of businesses deemed non-essential. It's one thing to take away, keep a, save lives, but it's another thing to uh, just, we gotta have our livelihood. Many in the West Michigan convoy work in the landscaping industry. It's dire, I mean, we're here to make money and try to support a bunch of people and we can't do any of that. I don't know why we have not had these common sense revisions to the executive order. Despite protest organizers urging people to stay in their cars and follow social distancing, many congregated outside the Capitol building, which Governor Whitmer advised against Monday. So that they don't expose themselves or any of our first responders to the potential of COVID-19. I would, um, I would just add this, you know, I support people's right to demonstrate and to use their voice. Some voices calling for the removal of Michigan's governor one day after the state's second deadliest of the COVID-19 pandemic. I'm not gonna be someone who calls her evil, but she's, I don't think she is. I think she's just a little misguided and maybe uh, above her ability at this point. In Lansing, Noah Fromson, 13 on your side.